Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. And we're the Hustle Couple coming at you today with a What's Sold in the World of Menswear Ship With Me video. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Um, we you, weren't going to do this video today. We, we were not. But we sold like <laughs> insane amount of menswear all at one time. Rapid fire yesterday. It was crazy. So if you're looking to get into the menswear game, this video is going to be very helpful because we're going to show you what is selling right now. That's right. If you're new here, welcome to our channel. Uh, we are full-time resellers in Dallas, Texas, and we make daily content to show you the behind-the-scenes, nitty-gritty, day-to-day of reselling. Oh, and it's fun. It's so much fun. We have fun. No, seriously, we do have fun. Let's go. We're going to just, just going to roll right, right in. Into it. That's not the first thing. What do I need? 43. It's higher. <laughs> this one. And today, all we sold was clothes, right? Yeah. Yeah, no hard goods, nothing. All clothing today. Um, it was weird. Our eBay was like off yesterday, and then last night it came back on. Ooh, I knew that was going to sell real quick. Just yeah, like... we just listed this guy. Mm -hmm. This is, and we need to get a little lint roll action here. This brand is very good. No pun intended. Uh, that was that was totally intended. It was intended. <laughs> good man brand. Yes. Do not get this confused with that Target brand. What's it good, called? Goodfellow. Goodfellow. That's, this is not that. Not the same thing. No. This is a... Excuse me, sir. See? You gotta resist. I gotta. Resist. No. Yeah. This is a very lightweight, thin, uh, unstructured uh, sport coat. It's kind of jersey feeling, like sweatshirty. Yeah. Feels like that. Yeah. Anyway, great brand to sell. We do well with the shirts and the jackets. Uh, it sold for forty two forty six with shipping. This menswear, the profit margins are just so much better than. Yeah, we paid three dollars and forty nine cents for it. Okay, turning three into forty two plus twelve ninety nine shipping, and this is going to Franklin, Tennessee. So I think a regional box will work for us. It absolutely will. Yeah. Sound like a broken record, but <laughs> if you don't know what a regional box is, it is a flat rate up to twenty pounds box. There's regional A and B. This is an A, and it goes by zones from where you live to where it's going. And there are nine postal zones. And Tennessee to Texas isn't that close, but it's close enough that this will be cheaper than its counterpart, which is a 1092 box, which is the other box we ship sport coats in. Right. These are free what from the good. USPS. There you go. And so we don't need the dimensions. We just write, re and we don't need the weight. We just write regional A. That's right. And Dan's going to tell us how much it's going to cost. 862. 862. So it's just a couple more cents than a flat uh, rate envelope. flat rate, yep. So this is great for us. And we get to put it in the box. We never. <laughs> this is hard, fast rule. We never put a sport coat in an envelope. Ever, 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 ever. Nope. Ever. Okay. Yeah. This dress we've had forever. It's a little bit flawed. This brand, though, is... Yeah. Right? Yeah. Chef's kiss. It's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, we, okay? could, we paid way up for it. This was sourced on Poshmark, I think. Yeah, I got it during... myself, though. Like, yeah. And it didn't fit. This is Nilly Lotin, and my goodness, if you can find this brand, even if it's flawed, I would pick it up. We might, we might just barely break even or even. That's okay. I think we may have paid somebody to take this. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, it sold for $39. Normally these would sell for $100. This is an older tag. The newer stuff can go for $200. Nice. Depending on the style. But this one was flawed, like I said. So it's fine. I bought it for myself. It didn't work out. We're basically reposhing it on eBay. <laughs> and that's fine. Yeah. Totally fine. And this is going to Georgia. And you're going to leave it in this, just like that? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep, definitely. Uh, First class. This all is the a, way. Wow. I, I wouldn't have done that. Really? It's a silk dress. Well, here we go. <laughs> Let it be. <clears throat> the next is another sport coat. No, it's a, su a two-piece suit. Two piece. And this is going to Fairfax, Virginia. So we will need to check the regional. But it's probably heavy. So sometimes yeah. the regional is better anyway because it's flat rate up to 20 pounds. Let's see. Uh, it's 11.21 in the regional A. It, the, we do charge 12 This is pretty nine. heavy, so I think it's going to work out. Yeah, I mean, we if charge. You, if you want to compare it, we can. Oh, we Just for the for sake of the video. Yeah, let's compare it. People always love a good comparison. That's this true. is, e a, excuse me, mm. <clears throat> words. A Brooks Brothers gray pinstripe two-button full suit. I'm reading you the entire title. And 
suit jacket and pants, 40 regular. We've had this a long time. Yeah. So with menswear, sometimes you need to play the long game. Mm -hmm. Way overpaid. Uh oh. oh See, yeah. we've had it a long time. We oh, got yeah. better at sourcing. This sold for a hundred dollars. Okay, well that's good. At least we still made a little bit. So <laughs> what money. did we spend on it? Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. We would never, never in my life would I ever pay twenty dollars for a suit anymore. Ever. And this just tells you <laughs> how um, with rare exception. Yeah. You may have bought this for yourself though, because this I don't is think so. okay, great. Yeah. So um what are we doing? a lot of the what? Alright, take it from phone. Sorry, just a lot of the Brooks Brothers have a model with them. So it'll be like the Brooks Brothers, give me an example, Regent, Madison, Madison Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald, and those typically do better and sell quicker because people know what size they wear. This didn't have a fit on it, so we just include measurements, and that's, I think that's why it probably took a little bit longer to sell. Our pictures probably weren't great. The The number is 990, and <laughs> we're in the 5,000s now. Yeah. So this tells you how long we've had this. I mean, probably three or four years. Probably. But menswear is still selling right now, so hey! Yeah. Again, we've gotten much better at sourcing, and hopefully these videos will help you see, you know, when we do hauls and things, what we're paying and what we are sourcing, because we would never have paid $20 for a suit ever in, ever. No. But this must have been, days. yeah, this must have been very early in my sourcing life. <laughs> okay, so this is going to Regional A. Oh, we wanted to compare. Yeah. We want to compare. I don't have any other boxes here though. We don't have a 1092. Uh, I got a 1095. Here's a 1092. Okay, we're gonna compare so we're with the 1092 box. And you can order these at USPS.com for free. Okay. Let me take off this. Uh, so we don't lose our stuff here. Well, I just didn't want to have the weight of that. Okay. okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the weight and the measurements of the 1092 going to Virginia from Texas. This is three pounds, one ounce. Three pounds, one ounce. Yes. Okay. And the outer dimensions are 12.3, mm -hmm. 2.9, 13.7. That's $15.08. So the regional is cheaper. The reason the regional is cheaper is because of the weight of this thing. It's a two piece suit. Sometimes, if it's just a sport coat, this would have been cheaper, even though it's a bigger box. You still with me? <laughs> <laughs> it's a little confusing sometimes. Yeah. But just check, you can just check on your eBay screen. Literally, there's a drop-down menu, you can check the different box sizes. Yep. So this is going to Regional A. And we charge a $12.99 flat rate shipping for our suits. If you live on a coast, you might want to charge a little more. Maybe like $15.99. Right, yeah, because regional rates are, you know, they depend, uh, it, it, it depends on where you live and where you're shipping to. It's all about the zones. Okay, the next is another That's full suit. The one I just had out, I think. This is Yves Saint Laurent, and we've had this a while. It's 2470, so you can tell by our numbers since we go sequentially how long we've had the, the mm -hmm. items. Uh, so you can put YSL also in your title. My title for this was Yves Saint Laurent, YSL, Italy, Navy, Pinstripe, Two Button, 42 Long, Worsted Wool, Full Suit. So there's the tag for you. Boom. <laughs> Gotta get that off. Hello, schmutz. Mm, reselling life. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> Y'all know what you're talking about, right? We little schmutzy schmutz. Just ee -ee -ee. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This sold for $90. And you might be like, YSL, and only $90. That's actually a really good price for a vintage YSL suit. Uh, we do sell a lot of this brand. And again, with menswear, you can buy high-end designers at regular department stores. So a YSL, if you found it in the women's department, would be something spectacular. When you find it in the men's department, odds are you could pick that up at Neiman's or... Dillard's. This one. <laughs> you can get it at Dillard's too. Dillard's! So you're like, why sell at Dillard's? Yes. In the mm -hmm. men's section, yes. So it sold for 90 That's fantastic. Yeah. And we paid... Ah. <laughs> Where's the ticket? We paid six seventy five for this. That's more in line with what I would pay for a suit.
We need to check if that was in the listing. Okay. Thanks. Oh, There's wait, a note. Where's this going? Mm-hmm. Minnesota. Minnesota. Yikes. Minnesota. Uh, that would be. Oh, it's only nine twenty-seven in a regional. Great. Yeah, straight up. Sweet. Every time I talk to somebody from Minnesota, they get out their hand. I'm from this part. And you're like, whoa. <laughs> no, it's Michigan. Oh, Michigan. Where's Minnesota? Oh, yeah, Michigan is next to Ohio. Which we used to only sell things to Ohio. Oh, that was weird. It was so weird. When we first started eBay, all of our sales were to Ohio. I mean, seriously, 90% of our sales were to Ohio. That has since subsided. We were, like, in this Ohio loop. And it was weird. Okay. Okay, what is this going? Regional A, right? Yep. Okay, now we have a bundle. Bundle. And this is a menswear bundle. So we sold... Ow. Sorry. We sold... (laughs) My husband tried to kill me twice today. We sold on accident. John Barbados Star USA, size 42 regular, gray, two-button peak lapel, sport coat blazer. We just listed this one. Yep. And then we also sold to the same person. This is going to Raleigh, North Carolina. Hart Schaffner Marks, two-button navy sport coat, size 41 regular. This guy knows his size, I can tell, because... HSM runs a little big, and so he would... Be, if he was a 42 regular, he would be a 41 in HSM. He knows. Mm-hmm. This guy knows. And maybe he read the measurements. What? That's unbelievable. So these two jackets aren't extraordinarily valuable on their own, but he messaged us and asked us to combine shipping, and Dan did, and he is confident that he can get it. Two of these. Yeah, I don't know. You're going to need that one box that we didn't use. Where's got, that 1092? It's over here. Oh, my gosh. He's going to try to get these into a regional <laughs> box. Here we go. Do you want to put them in a poly to like smash uh-huh. them? Yep. Absolutely. Here we go. Can he do it? <laughs> Challenge accepted. Yes, he can. So you can send an invoice to your buyers if they ask you to combine shipping. Maybe we should do a video on that. A lot of people have questions about that. Yeah. I mean, a lot of, to be fair though, there's not a lot of buyers that work that process correctly either because they have to wait to pay. Like you go check out and then you have to wait to pay. A lot of people just pay. You know right. I mean? And then you reimburse them or right. whatever. Yeah. But this guy knew yep. he is no stranger to shopping for suits on eBay. He is a... Ticket, one ticket. Okay. Two tickets. Great. So the, they each sold for $29, plus $12.99 shipping total. Cause Dan was confident he could get in a regional box together. We're gonna see how this works out. I think he may have done it might need to reinforce this with some tape. Nah. Okay. Boom. Regional A. Done. <laughs> Proud of you. Thank you. All right. The next is something we've had forever. Mm-hmm. I don't know what was going on with eBay. Old stuff was moving. Actually, I think I relisted this, actually. This is logo by Lori Goldstein. It needs a ticket. If you're interested in our ticket system, we have it a has video. It evolved. It started with these little handwritten things. Uh, I do like picking this brand up, but not this specific kind of thing. This They're is called... for $4 anyway. Oh, Lord. This <laughs> is called Logo Layers. Lori Goldstein does flip for us, but this Layers is more of a basics kind of line, and it's not the best... Obviously, this sold for ten dollars, and we had it for forty-five years. Yep, <laughs> that's correct. <laughs> it's gonna go in one of these little poly mailers. Perfect. Okay, and since this is first class, we are gonna weigh it and see how much because it'll be under a pound. That's what I mean when I say since this is first class. Ah, let go. Okay. And I always round up, so this is five ounces. 
Okay, this we just listed. It sold overnight. So that's fantastic. Yeah. This is the, it sold overnight, but then they didn't pay it till today. This right. is the Johnny Was 3J Workshop size small floral sheer navy sleeve. Mm, I don't, I don't, I don't. <laughs> navy sleeve button. I definitely made a typo there. Anyway, it sold. It was fine. I wanted to show them. Yeah, anyway, go for it. So this is a Johnny What. It doesn't say Johnny What, so you kind of got to know. Mm -hmm. This is a brand of Johnny Was. See how it says this? 3J Workshop, size small. And then you can kind of tell it's Johnny Was because it has this. That's, that super long embroidered tag. That's like it. most Johnny Was pieces have. Dead giveaway. Yes, and the thrift store didn't mark it up because <laughs> they didn't know. I had no idea. And it was still hanging on the rack. Someone didn't know. Hmm. So I'm always looking for that embroidered tag. There are a few brands like Poof that, that fake it. <laughs> I mean, don't get me started. <laughs> All right. So that sold for $45 plus $4.99 shipping very quickly. Yes, super quickly. I don't find, I mean, I know a lot of resellers find Johnny Was all the time. I do not. I found it maybe three times in my whole life. So when I do find it, it sells. Yeah. We had no sales on Poshmark. Nope. But at least we had some on eBay. Yesterday oh, was. Oh man, I missed. Whiff. Whiff. Yesterday was rough. Three ounces. This is very surprising, and I have a theory. <laughs> you guys are always here for the theories. There you go. Hot tip. Hot tip. This is a little girl's dress, and the brand is Janie and Jack. I would like you to see it. The only reason I knew to pick up this brand is because in our mall, Janie and Jack has its own store. So to me, if they have its their own store, they're paying a lot of rent, meaning that this brand is pretty high end, That's right? A, it's good theory. Good theory. I mean. There are their own like Gymboree store or whatever. I don't know about kid stores, but this one's like a boutique kind of store. You can tell. Yeah. I've never been in there, but we do walk the mall occasionally just to see what's there. We found a Psycho Bunny store. Stuff that wasn't there before is there now. And we're like, oh. There was a swim of all. Swim. There was a swim. Swabby, swimmies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's my theory. Ready? <laughs> I think if you price kids clothing high people think it's worth more this has happened to me twice in the past two days so normal Jamie Jane good lord I feel like I've been drinking I have not Woo. normal Janie and Jack dresses were listed for like 15 well I listed this one for 30 no I listed it for 35 and someone offered 30 like immediately yeah yeah but the other ones were listed for 15 so if I followed the comps I would have only gotten 15 for this dress I think people are like, oh, it's 30. This one must be a special one. Yeah, it's the it's, really it's your plush pricing theory. It's the same theory. At work. It's the same theory. Because I sold another little girl's dress overnight yesterday that everything was priced at $8, and I priced mine at 30 and we got a $25 offer. And I was like, <laughs> okay. Right away, yeah. They haven't paid for it yet, but. Okay, the last one is this flax piece. You guys know this brand. We sell it quite often. If you can find this. It's an art to wear, minimalist. It's made out of flax linen and it is fantastic sell through rate. This sold, this is a flax black long sleeve, 51% linen, 49% cotton tunic, women's size medium, oversized, and it sold for $30. Sweet. So I'm not mad about that at all. Not at all. Okay, cool. Eight ounces. Excuse Sweet. me, excuse I'm me. Ready. Okay. <laughs> cool. I'm going to get these labels printed out, and then we're going to go check in with the mojo, and off to the post office we go. Okay. It's Wednesday's moment with mojo. He heard me over here editing the video after I caught him sleeping. Oh, stretch it out, buddy. Yeah, you gotta say hi to all your friends. That's right. <laughs> oh, stumble. <laughs> all right, well, I gotta really, I gotta upload this and get this video going, all right? Say bye. 
Good boy. Go. Hi, friends. Hello. Okay. How we do our did, numbers look? They're okay. We did right. 520 in sales today, and 290 of that was pure profit. Okay, cool. So I'm taking out all the fees that eBay charges us, any promoted listings that we paid, and the cost of shipping comes out of that. Right. So, average sale price, $52. Men's we were coming through. For real, man. Look, yesterday we only sold four things. Yikes. E and then eBay turned back on. Okay, let's look at our month two date. Okay. Okay, that. our minimum month is 6,000 profit. That's our goal, and we've already passed that, so that's great. That's really great. We have four more days, I think. Wait, wait. Yeah. It's almost my birthday. Almost. We have three more days. So we really, really, really need to push these next three days and see if we can get this up in case of summer slowdown, right? Yeah, we need to sure. kind of compensate for that. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Uh, we will be live listing tonight like we do every weeknight over on the other channel, which is linked down below. 7.30 p.m. Central. We will see you there. Bye. Bye.